Welcome back to GDPG, where we play games, talk game design. Yeah. <laughs> talk game design about Banner Saga 2, the preview. Ooh, ooh. Um, all right, cool. Some things about to happen. The air's changing. Let's leave it. Yeah. Just go into it. Large, ominous tones. Yeah, I mean, we can't even see our. We're our, just uh, we're going behind the caravan. hill. The sheer cliffs and boulder strewn waters of the southern bank dictate the longship's course. The droning sound of the dredge accent their qu uh, quicker pace as they follow your ships along the northern bank. Dust and mist make it hard to see ahead. A hissing and rumbling noise grows all around. Waterfall! Shouts the sharp eyed Nid from the bow. Of course it would be her that sees it <laughs> from the longship. Oars instantly reverse and you nearly lose your balance. Oh. Whoa! What? Whoa! Oh, we're gonna get separated. People are gonna die and we're all gonna get separated. It's gonna happen. Something crazy is gonna happen. Oh, why? <sighs> but what if it was like, end of the preview? Like, no, no, you can't leave us here. Can I, can I click on something? Can I? Some, I. S okay. Okay, we stopped moving good. <laughs> <laughs> the roar of the approaching waterfall clouds your thoughts. All the clansmen you picked up keep the ships from being uh, being nimble, but only two fall to the power of the overwhelming current. Still, the screams of the family's fighters in Varl are difficult to move past. Minus eight Varl, minus Ooh. 19 clansmen, Ooh. minus 12 fighters. Ooh. Minus 10 spies. Ooh. Varl, fine. <laughs> All right. The remaining ship, uh, ships, uh, <laughs> rowers, pull hard, heading for uh, the dredge line northern bank. In their haste, the vessels smash against the ship, split rocks as they push toward the shore. Some fighters are thrown from the boat, sinking in mud under the weight of the ar of their armor. Aww. You're like talking Minus about 10 the fighters. microphone, by the way. Whatever, man. Shh, whatever. <laughs> what a stupid s microphone. Stupid. Okay. <laughs> the long ships are too spread out to command a un unified landing. Amid the chaos, you look at those nearby. Gris, a stout bar warrior, and few others l uh, look like him, uh, ready to rush the dredge. Bulwark and his com uh, company are close to you, hauling their sealed carts off the ship. You consider your options. Cover the battlefield with arrows. Uh, leaf. Uh, we could use some help from the ravens, Bulwark. Gris, make an opening in, in their ranks. Hard. I feel like all of those options, except for the last one, means the death sentence of that character. Do you think so? Except for maybe Bulverick. I still feel like There's he's no going way. to be... There's no way he's going to die. I, I, that's kind of how no. I feel. That guy's like the nemesis of the campaign. Let's, let's face it, man. He's bad news. Let's use number two, then. All right. I feel like... Okay. Yeah. Screw yeah. that guy, yeah. right? Yeah. Screw that guy. <laughs> All right. We've got our own. The Varl is interrupted by a shield maiden saying something from, uh, to him privately. Over snorts and says, Folk, Folka offers her shield and spear, and people will know the ravens pulled your asses out of this mess. There's no time to haggle or debate. We'll take whatever help we can get, wave off the deal, prepare for a fight. Screw that guy. Well, or, well, because he'll, he'll loom it over us. Yeah. But is it better to weaken him now? <laughs> <laughs> that guy's not going to get weak. Look at him. It's true. He's definitely not. I mean, so what... I feel like there's going to be some kind of repercussion, though, for asking for his help and then being like, nah, never mind. Right? Could be. Let's find out. Okay. Okay. All right. You know what? We don't need your help. Screw you. <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna be a tough fight. <laughs> yep. Oh, my party. See, they they split you up a lot. Crap. Okay. Um. All right. We had Ivor. We had Hacken. We had Eagle. Avon. Eagle. Was it Alio? Uh, I don't think he was in the last party, but Alio is. Awesome. So I'm not opposed to putting him back in. Okay, cool. Let's do that. And then the order will be uh, something like uh, Kapow. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty solid. Section that. 
because you Boom. can. Yeah, cool. Also, this is the first battle that we've gotten into for the last, what, four episodes? So, oh, yeah. Which is really interesting because in Banner Saga 1, I feel like battles happened with v- much frequency. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, I would agree. I, I But I think what that means is that there's more narrative and more like, I don't know, plot survival? One, two, three, four, five. So to say, or maybe just like wilderness survival, right? Mm -hmm. Um, But it's an interesting kind of like change of um, challenges. Okay, let's take Ivor and we're going to do this, but we're going to put Avon with this group of four. I think Ivor and Rook will actually, no, we won't group with the group because this ability works well with them. But we'll take Gil, Spearhead that. No. Okay, tell you what, we'll do Alio. Just, just, I just wanna. Mm. <laughs> this is on me. All right. Yeah, Alio and I are together. Probably will be fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's let's. Uh, Although do this I feel one. like Alio is also better around o- other people. That is true. I I think you might be better off with hacking over there. Hack and, and, and Ivor together. It's a pretty mean combo, but I mean it'll tear these two up. But within an act, and, and we should plus you have, have Eagle basically taking the brunt of the hits up here, while Rook and uh, Alio are basically, you know, chipping these other guys away. We'll do this. How's that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do this. This. this one step over. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, cool. Ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Buddy up, everybody. All right. Hey. Uh, we'll go right here. Here. Come on. Pay attention to me. What is what is your power? These little tutorial tips 18. are definitely like all over the place too. Yeah. Okay. Real quick. 14, 18, or above. I need to use stone wall too. Okay, nice. Okay, so that's good to know that he's a heavy hitter. I think that other guy up there is a heavy hitter too because he doesn't have a shield. Precisely. He's one of the ones that's a heavy hitter and then transitions what's, into... What's his health up there? Yes. Uh, 19. 13 and 19 versus his 12 and 18. Hacken can do 19 plus... What's his exertion? 3, which we might as well just go Ridiculous. ahead and use. So he can Oh, yeah, 22. we could just... 22. I can just deal straight up 10 damage to this guy. It does right mean now. that Hacken's going to get hit... Which sort of nullifies, um, maybe Eagle's benefit, but uh, honestly, it's probably worth it. No, 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 just right there. Nope, just right here. There we go. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Kapow, boom. Yeah, I think we only use two. That'll bring him down to nine. Nine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Plus, maybe if we're really... Oh, yeah. Oh, I pushed him back a lot. Oh, that was beautiful. I'm a genius. What? What is that? What? Uh, What is it, though? What's going on? Are those just, like, animals in the wild? This is Skulker. Chase, Skulker can move through allies. Skulker becomes invisible and stalks a target. Al Skulker reappears and attacks, re- uh, signaling the pack mates to attack the same target. So is this a third party, or are they part of the dredge? They do not look like they're part of the dredge. I know, that's why I'm confused. I'm really curious to see if they're going to attack the dredge or only us. Because if they don't, then that means that the dredge probably trained them is kind of like they're... Like, I feel like we would have seen them by now, though. I mean, they do kind of look like they could be underground, yeah. you know, <laughs> reptiles, you know? Yeah. I mean, uh, they are really weak. I kind of... St- what is your eight? You could just kill that one straight up. Which means it won't be able to call for its pack. Yeah, unfortunately not really the one I want to attack, but that's fine. That's true. Um, 13, I mean, yeah, I can't kill it. I can also hit this guy and just deal five damage to him. I'm going to do that yeah. because I kind of want to see what they can do. The curiosity <laughs> is strong. I have nine willpower. Um, boom. Yeah, that's fair. 
Ow. <laughs> you can't do anything. Uh. Oh, okay, so they're not attacking the dredge. Okay. Interesting. That's very unexpected. I mean, I like the ability of them going invisible. It basically means they can move anywhere on the field without, you know, getting killed. Which yeah. works because they're weak. They don't have any armor, so... I still don't know how I feel about these guys. Yeah, it's definitely... I feel like it is kind of out of place right now. Especially, like, this battle of all things. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of agree with what you said. I feel like... Uh, although they know what they are. There's... Why are... Where... There's still more. And they are... I mean, even if they're not with the dredge, they are clearly ignoring them. Dudes. Oof. Dudes. Uh... Not yeah. happy times. Mending. Well, it's not going to do anything for Ivor. Oh, uh, right. Because it only fixes armor, right? You could use his new ability. Although, I don't know how useful that'll be since... The dredge is already right up against Ivor. And this guy's probably going to go for Hacken since he's already taken... Oh, oh you my. could mend him. <laughs> yeah, but I can't reach him. Oh, boy. Okay. I didn't realize there was a range on mend. I thought... Mm. No, yeah. there's not. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think that there was Menders a range. Are awesome. Okay, I'm pretty safe if I move right here. Cause yeah, because... You'd have to go all the way around, Ivor. Nice. Boom. <laughs> like it never happened. <laughs> what are you doing? Whoa. He's new. Kill that one, it might make the others run? What? Okay, so he was clearly right here just like a second ago. Yeah, I don't think you can attack him, though, while he's invisible. You have to wait for him to reappear. Yeah, maybe. So it at least gives us a hint of where he could be moving. Um, it just means he can't be attacked. All right. I'm going to move here. See if... Okay. There oh. he is. Oh, okay. So you I can at least... I was wondering about that. Nice. That's actually... Oh, but you still can't attack him. And now I can't move. That's... Son a bitch. That's kind of a pain in the ass, actually. I feel like... Yeah, because, like, I knew he was there... Yeah, I feel like if he's going to restrict your movement, you should be able to at least attack him. Um, but this is actually... Way back in school, we we um, made a, a tactical game, and uh, one of the character abilities was invisibility. And we used it similarly, where you could move around the field um, for X amount of turns invisible, and basically, like, you know, the other... Your opponent wouldn't be able to see you. Now... We did handle it so that if the, if another enemy was adjacent to you, they would see you and could attack you because it only makes, makes sense. sense. Because otherwise, that means that your enemies could move through you, and that sort of breaks everything. It breaks the logic of the game. Mm -hmm. um, so blocking the movement but not allowing us to attack us, attack them, um, kind of feels cheap, in my opinion. Because we, we as, like, the player know where we they are. We know where it's at, yeah. It feels like we, like, I was clever about it and knew what was going on and paid attention, but I'm still being punished for it. Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. <clears throat> Dude, again, at least I'm ranged. Okay, well, I think we should end the episode here, which means we'll finish the battle in the next episode. Yeah. Um, but we should talk about these what are they called skulkers skulkers also this guy but i don't know anything about him right now to his splinter, splinter. three plus armor damage to dread causes one armor damage to all just oh, okay that's the that's the splinter that's when the dredge take more damage for taking armor Ooh. when a stone singer is hit all gloom wardens he's no he's a dire guard all gloom wardens focus it on its attacker for a round okay Ooh. And then drum fire shockwave does armor break damage, hot ash remnant hurls and it hurts enemies and men's dredge. Weird. So there's a lot more synergy going on now. Yeah. Like I, I feel like the strategy of this game just got a lot more complex. No joke. One hundred percent because now I don't I don't like I this guy synergizes with two different things. Right mm -hmm. now. 
which in a way is kind of a good thing, but it definitely makes things a little bit murkier. Like it, it, it's gonna keep us on our toes. Yeah. Um, so maybe that's what the question of the day is. Not just necessarily about the skulkers, but kind of about um, kind of the change of, of strategy. Um, because now we have synergy on our end, and now we get to see a bit of synergy on the opponent's end. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess maybe the question is, does that feel appropriate for the Banner Saga? I mean, we, we built a lot of expectations off of the last game. Um, do you think that it makes combat more interesting in a way that helps fuel the gameplay? Does that make sense? No, that I mean, that does. I, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to vote if you want to see more Banner Saga 2. And uh, check out our Facebook page if you want to see some behind-the-scenes videos. It's mostly us being goofballs, but... <laughs> <laughs> These skulkers are pissing me off. Yeah. Like, three times now. I've just lost actions because of them. Uh, <sighs> you suck. All right. Cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Mm.